Hey guys, how's it going? Um, so today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, map out a M Chauvet MK2 wash on in Resolume. So first thing um, you want to do is uh, you want to get the pixel map of the actual fixture because you have to use it as a reference guide. You need to say how do you know which pixels 1 through 12. There's 12 pixels here. You have to know which one's which so it'll map out correctly. So in the manual itself, um, you can find the reference right here. I actually screenshotted it and uh, cropped it out to this extent. So I'm going to use it as an input a guide in Resolume itself. Um, next thing you want to do is you want to determine which uh, channel mode works best for you. Um, if you're going to be controlling pixels directly at a Resolume, um, you're going to need um, to use dual channel mode. Um, so I'm going to be using just the pixel mode uh, with Resolume and with the movement mode you can use it with whatever console works best for you. Um, if you're merging art and stuff you can actually uh, use the regular channel mode as long as you have fully um, uh, full pixel control you pick a channel with a RGB or RGBW with each pixel um, so for us uh, the 48 channel uh, pixel mode is going to work for us it's basically RGBW uh, times 12 uh, next thing you want to do is in Resolume itself you're going to go to uh, preferences uh, if you go to arena uh, I'm sorry fixture editor um, over here this is where you're going to create your fixture so you can hit add um, we're going to name our fixture uh, MK2 RGBW single pixel. Um, enter. Uh, now over here you're just going to select RGBW since that's the um, order that we're going to be using the pixel in. Um, hit close. Uh, now that your uh, fixture is created you're going to go to your output. Um, you're gonna go to here. You're gonna create a Lumaverse. Uh, once you create your Lumaverse, you can actually uh, delete your screen because uh, you have to have one thing in your output. So as soon as you create something like a Lumaverse, you could delete uh, the default uh, screen. Uh, next thing you want to do is actually it already did it by default since it's the last fixture we played with in our uh, DMX section. Uh, so as you can see here, I have one MK2 RGBW single pixel, which is here. Next thing you want to do is you want to go to your Lumaverse. Uh, over here is a load guide. Um, I'm just going to take the image I have screenshotted here. I'm going to open it up in my output. Uh, now that we have this here, um, I actually cre made my composition the size of the image just to make it easier on myself. But as soon as I'm done mapping it out, um, I could just take out the guide. I can make the composition whatever size I want the content to be uh, dis um, displayed in. Um, and I could actually just select all the pixels and extend them all together. Uh, so for now, we're just going to use this as our reference. Uh, I'm just going to extend this pixel just a bit, make it a little bigger. I'm going to drag this. So this is our first pixel here. Um, and when you're going to copy this pixel to the next pixel, it's aut automatically going to map it out to four channels above. So the next one uh, would be five. Easiest way to do it is to take your Alt key and drag the slice over, which will duplicate it. Um, as you can see here, um, start channel is five. Uh, now we're just going to keep moving it around until we hit the end. So we should have to go in order of wherever the pixels are. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, almost done. Bear with me. Eleven, twelve. All right, uh, as soon as we have that, we can go back to our Lumaverse. Uh, we can take out the guide. Now that we have our pixels in place, um, we can actually, if you would have, let's say, 10 or 15 fixtures, whatever the number is, uh, you could just take Alt and drag the whole thing to here. And now you have another whole fixture here. Um, it's gonna be on the same universe. Um, if you wanna take it onto another universe, you can just go to DMX Lumaverse. Um, you could select the last pixels that you've done. Over here, I believe it's till here. No, let's take this one out. There we go. Uh, you can just take this. I believe you could drag it in here. I might be wrong. Uh, all right, so let's just do it the old fashioned way. Go here. Um, I guess it's not like slices. You can't really do that. All right, I'll test that on later on. Uh, but for now, you get the idea. Um, so for now, these two are going to be on a single universe. Um, and now we hit save and close. Um, sorry, hold on, we forgot to. Um, so in order to get this um, pixels working with the fixture, you have to output Artnet from Resolume. Um, the MK2 wash, which is the fixture we are building right now in our output, actually has built-in Artnet on the fixture, has network ports in the back, in and out. 
Um, so on the fixture itself, you're gonna comp you're gonna plug a network cable directly out of your computer straight to your fixture. Um, in your uh, output over here, usually where you'd select um, the IP address or whatever the way you're connecting it, um, when you have a fixture connected to your computer, there's going to be an option here underneath called MK2Wash with the IP address, as long as everything's configured right in your uh, network settings. Um, and you could also just keep it simple, just do broadcast, and it'll broadcast network out. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and that's pretty much it. And now let's just... I don't have content on this computer, but let's just make something quickly. Um, let's go to sources, just bring some lines in. All right, let's just make the width a little smaller, amount a little smaller. All right, now let's go to effects, let's add the trails effects in. Um, now, if you go to your output, um, the reason why I added the trails effect in and just adds a little fade to when the pixels are leaving the um, when the line is going past the pixel, just add a little fade out time. Um, you can mess with a bunch of effects and settings for different stuff and make some really cool stuff happen. Um, I might make another tutorial of cool content that you can make directly out of Resolume just for pixel mapping. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. If you guys have any other requests for anything, please let me know. 